In this video, I'd like to review the Fender Blues Junior Mark III. I'd like to really review this from a jazz guitarist perspective. I've had one of these in the studio before and I really liked it, but in an older video, I said that I was kind of done with tube amps, but I think I'm going around in full cycle here because I've got one in the studio at the minute and I've been playing it all the time. So I thought it'd be good to kind of reassess my own thoughts and uh, do a proper review on the Fender Blues Junior Mark III. Hey everybody, Jamie Holroyd here helping you learn jazz guitar. Welcome to the channel. If you're new around here and you want a structured guide to learning jazz guitar, then please check out my free beginner jazz guitar course, which is linked and listed in the video below. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the Fender Blues Junior Mac 3. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on what really gives the best settings for a jazz tone and what I like to use with both my Telecaster and my Archdop. In regards to the guitars themselves, you've probably seen them on this channel numerous amounts of times. The Archtop is my old Yamaha AE1200 guitar, which I think has gauged 12 strings. And the Telecaster is a 62 reissue bound Japanese Telecaster with uh, the Seymour Duncan Alnico Pro 2 neck pickup, which is basically the only pickup that you hear in the video anyway. So I'm going to go and give you an up close of the Mark III, kind of explain a little bit about it and then we're going to check out and have a listen to some of the tone samples. So here is a close-up of the Blues Junior. This particular one is a Mark III, and as you can see, it's got a few battle scars. The actual amp itself is absolutely fine and in good working order. There's a few of the common wear marks that you see on these amps, usually kind of the, the cover there at the left and right-hand side. Um, it's got a little bit of wear there. The handle looks pretty good, and all the writing on the amp knobs is, is very clear and easy to see. So yeah, it, it's holding up okay. It's not in mint condition, but it's, uh, it's you don't have to worry too much about getting a ding on it or anything like that, which is one reason why I like it when it's got a little bit of wear like this one has. Um, one thing I really like about the Mark III Blues Juniors is that the titles for the knobs are basically the right way up on the older ones with the silver panel they're basically upside down, which makes them harder to see and adjust when you're actually using these in gigging situations. So the mic that I'm using, I'm actually talking through this right now, it's doubling up, um, is this AKG P120 mic right here, which I use all the time. It's just basically a fairly inexpensive condenser mic. And the process basically is that this mic is just kind of hooked up to this Focusrite 2i2 and I'm recording directly into OBS as well. Um, as you can see there, that's OBS. So there's no kind of noise gates or no processing or anything like that. You literally hear in the amp with the mic right in front of it, just to give you an idea. The first setting that I'd like to share with you on the Blues Junior is to basically have the reverb completely off. This gives you a very dry Jimmy Bryant, Billy Bean type of sound, and it's great for things like Western swing, old school jazz, Many guitar players are too reliant upon reverb and it really is a good exercise to turn reverb off and try and make the guitar work for you. As you can see on this uh, EQ here, I basically got the treble all the way off or almost all the way off and everything else kind of accented a little bit. Turning the treble off on other amps could be problematic, but because a Blues Junior has so much highs and lows, um, it really doesn't uh, affect the sound in my opinion, and it actually thickens it up, especially when you're playing a Telecaster. So what you're now gonna hear is basically the volume and tone all the way on. Um, this is a little bit bright for my own taste, but it's a sound that's probably worth acknowledging. And then I'm gonna basically um, set the guitar to how I like it, which is basically turning the volume and tone to maybe like eight or seven. If they had volume knobs, that's probably where they would be. So let's have a listen to those turns now. Thank you. 
I'm now going to add some reverb to the sound very gradually. The thing that you've got to know about a Blues Junior is that it kind of, from zero to one, it's okay, but when you go from one to two, and especially two or three, you can really kind of get into deep dale and surf guitar territory. So you've got to have like a surgeon's hand, I find, when setting the reverb on this. It's a very good reverb, a nice spring reverb, but it kind of goes from nothing to everything within, you know, micro turns, basically. So I'll try my best to give you an example of this now, and I might change some of the other sounds as well also. One thing that I probably should explain just before I do that is, how this works is uh, embarrassing when I first got this amp, it took me a while to figure it out, but essentially this volume right here, uh, the master one, hopefully you can see my hand there, um, that's the overall volume. So if you wanna have any distortion or any gain, what you actually have to do is turn this volume all the way up and then you tend to back down the master. Um, so this is essentially kind of like an overdrive, but you've got to set that quite high for it to start to break up. And if you press in that fat switch there, that really doesn't kind of fan it out for jazz in my opinion that tends to kind of make the amp break up a little bit quicker so let's hear a few more sounds <laughs> So hopefully that gives you an idea of the EQ settings that I like on this amp. I might occasionally uh, boost the bass and the mid or maybe move the treble up or turn it completely off. But other than that, it doesn't tend to change too much really. What I might do is just kind of do some playing now and I'm just gonna kind of change the EQ knob so you can hear that. And hopefully you'll hear that once you start to kind of have everything, you know, one of the most confusing things that I see on guitar demos is when they have the EQ at noon, which, yeah, and I don't know why people do that because you tend to get too much of everything, but I'll play around with the EQ uh, and obviously you can hear that. And I might even dive into some different musical styles really, but generally speaking, that is the EQ that I like to use on a Blues Junior. And I even like the setting with even no or minimal reverb um, just for kind of punchy swing lines and chords as I was doing to begin with. Or I do like the reverb up a bit and I like to do that sometimes just to have a little bit more sustain on chord melody uh, and to basically give you like a poor man's Ted Green sound. You know, you often hear him um, use a lot of reverb and if you play some like spread triads and stuff like that, it, you know, it just helps you get a little bit more sustain from the instrument really. So those are my settings, but I'll, uh, I'll give you a few more settings now and I'll play around with the amp just so you can hear it some more. Thank you. 
finish off this demo, I'm basically just going to give you a few sounds using my trusty old Yamaha AE1200 is what this guitar is and I've used this all the time so I basically know it well, I know how it should sound for different amps. And I really like the Blues Junior when paired with an arch top or any humbucker guitar because generally speaking humbucker guitars you know, can potentially sound muddy or dark and with this being a brighter tube amp it really um, is a nice mix for a, an arch top guitar with humbuckers I think. So I've basically got the EQ as I did for the Telecaster. So I'll probably just do the same thing where I play it dry. I'm not quite as fond of the dry arch top sound as what I am as the Telecaster sound for some reason, at least with this amp. But I'll, I'll demonstrate it anyways and then I'll add a little bit of reverb and you can see what you think. <laughs> So, do I think that the Blues Junior Mark III is a good amp for jazz? I do, I think it's a really good option and I also like the Pro Junior which is basically like the Blues Junior, it's the same amp but it's smaller and without reverb and one of the best live jazz guitar tones I've actually had was using that amp with a reverb pedal when I'm playing in quieter, smaller situations. It doesn't really handle um, louder situations as well as what a Blues Junior will, which will basically, unless you're playing with a very loud drummer, will enable you to play with combos and things like that. So the Blues Junior is sometimes not as reliable as some of Ramps. It's got a few stories like that. Personally, I've never had any first-hand experience with the Blues Junior being unreliable, but I imagine in that case, it's fairly easy to work on and not too complex in regards to some of our Ramps. It's certainly cheaper than a Princeton Reverb, and it is actually a little bit louder than a Princeton Reverb as well, so it's more versatile in that respect. Would it be changing my opinions on amps? Will I be, you know, buying up more tube amps and using tube amps? Not really. I think in some ways tube amps are really kind of that You can't really compare them to solid state amps. It's kind of apples versus oranges. It really is nice to have one above. Um, I kind of missed not having one for a while. And it was not really until I got this particular one in the studio and started playing through it that really, to be honest, you're not really going to get the feel for it on video. It's something to me that's to do with how a tube amp feels and responds really. But I would definitely recommend them. You know, you can do all kinds of things with them. There's all kinds of mods that you can do to Blues Juniors. You can change the speakers, you can change the tubes. So I hope that this video at least helps you out and uh, gives you an idea of how I find them as a jazz guitar player. If it did help you out, then please subscribe to this channel and give this video a like.